Hello everyone and welcome back to Rebuilding Sheffield Wednesday where we are joined by Mesut Ozil because you know why not uh, is he a player that we need absolutely not but with those technicals those mentals 20 first touch 20 technique 18 passing I mean all these you can see him right here ignore his physicals and his work rates when a player like Mesut Ozil comes up for a free how could I pass it up? And to be honest, after we lost Urente, I needed another big name player to hopefully boost those shirt sales. And he's only on £4,500 a week, an absolute bargain. As well as Ozil, we have brought in Leonardo Kutris on a free transfer, having been released by Olympiakos. Uh, when he played for the Greek champions last year, he played pretty well. And as you can see so far, eight games, two assists, one player of the match, he's done very well. He comes in as our first choice left back, having given up on the Kenny McLean at left back experiment. Um, it lasted one game, we lost, it didn't go well. Um, so yeah, Leonardo comes in as the first choice left back, 28 years of age, only on £5,000 a week, a fantastic bit of business if you ask me. We did let a few players go, George Byers has gone to relegated Huddersfield for half a million pounds, and Josh Windass has gone out on loan to Salford. He was on £15,000 a week. Uh, of course, no one wants to take those wages off of our hands, so we're still paying £9,000 for his time in Salford. Um, but after bringing in Louis Barry and with the other transfers as well, he was only going to be a backup. Now, last time out was a 3-1 win against Hull. And since then, as you can see here, we've been absolutely magnificent. We followed up the victory against Hull with another 3-1 win against uh, Walsall, this time in the League Cup. But that's that's pointless because we lost to MK Dons 3-1, so just ignore that. But after that was a 6-0 win against Middlesbrough. It was, it was an absolute carnage of a game. They had two shots all game. Zero on target. We had 28, 3.38 xG, 6-0. We got two early goals from our centre-back, uh, Alvaro Carrillo. And I mean, it was just a complete, a, a perfect performance from our front three of Pereira, Souza and Moreira. Looking at the team, they all performed extremely well. It was just, it was lovely, lovely to see. The next game was not as easy with a late goal from Anthony Notcart to give us a 1-0 win against Preston. Before that, mentioned 3-1 loss to MK Dons, which was disappointing given how far we went in the, uh, in the League Cup last year. After that loss, though, it has been all wins and one draw, as you can see. A 2-0 win against Coventry with some late goals from Barry and Notcart. A 5-0 against Millwall. A Vasco Souza hat-trick and two, again, from Anthony Notcart. What a signing he has been. Uh, a 3-1 against Luton, a 2-2 draw against Birmingham, a disappointing result, they are bottom of the league. And then another two goals down, we went to Rotherham, and I was panicking, but 4-2, a hat-trick from Pereira, turned the game on its head, a 4-2 victory is absolutely fantastic in that derby. Then three comfortable wins with a 1-0 against Blackburn, 4-0 against Ipswich, in which a lot of our best players were on international duty, so it was a rotated team, but Louis Barry getting a hat-trick before another goal in the 1-0 win against MK Dons. Now, as you'd expect after those results, we are currently top of the championship after 11 games, 10 wins, one loss, 31 points, 32 goals scored and only six conceded. It is the best attack, it's the best defense. It's, it's unexpected to put it mildly. So today we do have two games, one against Sheffield United, the Steel City Derby, first against second, before another away trip to Southampton, down in sixth. Despite that position, it is definitely gonna be a tough, test. So the team for the Sheffield United game is going to be like this. Vutsov's going to be in goal with Ayofra and Kutris as the wing backs. Uh, Kirk and Carrillo are in centre of defence. Kirk is coming for the injured Maximovic. Unfortunately out for another week so he's going to miss Southampton game as well. Will Vokes and uh, Neto in the middle of the pitch with Knockhart and Pereira on the wings. Either side of Vasco Souza with Louis Barry up front. As you can see here the front four are performing absolutely fantastically. Plenty of goals and assists between them. Meza Erzl does not make the bench because he's he's not much fit and he's he's not good enough. I don't know why I bought him really. Um, it's Meza Erzl. The shirt sales. The money. 25 minutes in and we have not seen anything here. There's been one shot all game. Um, that's that's it. It's half an hour gone. This is this is what is going on here. Five minutes until half time and we have the first highlight. It is Sheffield United with the free kick, played into the box and now they have the chance to put a cross into the middle. Can we get it clear? We can't. Oh, for goodness sake, there's no reaction there by our defender and Sheffield United pounced to get the goal five minutes before half time to make it 1-0. That was that was poor. A final chance before half time when we have the ball at the back. It is Kirk on the ball. We've got plenty of great creative players at the front, but that is a that's a poor ball. But Anthony Notcart intercepts. Come on, Anthony. Anthony, oh for God's sake, that was What oh for God's sake, Anthony. Right, um half time, one nil. That's, that was rubbish. That was absolutely pitiful. Two highlights that, no.
I forgot that Iorfa doesn't like big games, so uh, Vinicius is going to come on for him. Uh, he is booked as well, so I don't want to get him sent off. Uh, but this has not been good enough. 1-0 down. We've created nothing. There have been no highlights. Right, 10 minutes into the second half, I've just made some changes. I brought on Marrera on the right wing for a knockout. And there's another highlight, right? Neto puts a lovely ball forward. Vasco, can he find the space? Can he find Barry in the box? Pull it back. Come on, Vasco. He does. There he is on the edge of the box. It's, it's gone in. Anthony Knockhart. Oh, um, the substitutes haven't gone in yet. Oh, God, I'm about to take him off. Anthony Knockhart there with the equaliser. Um, oh, for God's sake, it was Volks as well. Got the assist. And I was about to take him off. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to keep it as it was. You know, oh, for what's happened there? Oh, Pereira's got an injury. Lower leg injury. He needs those to play football. Um, Molitieri uh, is going to come on for him. Uh, Will Vokes, yeah, he's going to come off anyway for Delhi Bashiru. And uh, the defence aren't playing great, but we, uh, we need to score, not not keep a clean sheet. Sheffield United with the throw-in deep into our into our box, but we get the header. And now can we win that lockdown? We do. But there's no one on the edge of the box for us. Sheffield United retain possession. Lovely ball out wide to Namaso. Namaso, surely. Oh, the keeping's terrible. It's 2 1 to Sheffield United. His second goal of the game. Oh, for goodness sake. It's been going so well. It's been going so well, but there is a highlight. Can we find any one of our Portuguese runners here? We try to go long. It's a poor ball, but now Wilson Esbrand, the substitute, up to Multieri to knock out. Find the overlap. Finds Marrera. It's knocked down to Wilson Esbrand. Can he put a cross in? Come on, put the ball in, Marrera. Put it into the box, Marrera. He does not, it's a, that's, no, um, but it's cleared all the way back to us and we can come again, Carrillo now, out wide. Five Vinicius on the right side, is unmarked, plenty of space, Neto, Dudley Bashiro, a goal ball, Militieri, oh what a fantastic first time finish by Militieri, is it offside? It's offside, right. A final chance in this game perhaps, one minute until the end of the game, anti knock anti on the right side, Vasco Souza. Come on, pull it across. Not caught. He does. Multieri is in the box. Lay out wide, Multieri. Come on. Wilson Eshbrand. Can he find anyone? Oh, he's taken out by Brewster. He's going to be sent off. He's sent off. That's the end of the highlight, surely. Oh, that's... No, come on, come on. Right, push forward. Um, oh, Do something. Do something here. Oh, there it is. 2-1 to Sheffield United. Namasa with two goals for them. A pretty even game, in all honesty. We have had more shots, but they've had the same amount on target. The XG is very similar. Not good enough. I'm not happy. The first defeat of the season as well. Oh, it's awful. Absolutely awful. Why couldn't you have seen us win 6-0 away from home or 5-0? It's... No, absolutely terrible. Here we are then. Southampton away from home. Now, they are down in fifth. We are 10 points ahead of them after 12 games of the season. They are not having a good time of it. But the team for today is going to be exactly the same except for Igor Vinicius coming in for Dominic Iorfa. And Multieri in for the injured Pereira, who's out for the next three weeks. Not ideal. But other than that, I'm not making any wholesale changes. I trust the team. We've done absolutely perfectly, except for that last result. And I'm going to keep the faith. Here we are then at St. Mary's. The Southampton team is pretty strong still. They've not sold all of their best players. But there has been quite a clear out. But we still have Che Adams to watch out for. Here we are then. First talent of the game is 15 minutes in almost. And Southampton have the ball on the left side. Perot now running forward on the left side. He's going to put the ball into the box. Can we get the tackle? We can't. El Nenny with the header. It's 1 0. We are down a goal again. I could be tempted to go more defensive, but we won 6 0 away from home against Middlesbrough. This is not good enough. Absolutely awful. Igor Vinicius comes away with the ball, though, and makes a lovely run forward to release Louis Barry. He's quite isolated up there, unless he can find Pereira, not Pereira, Molitieri on the backside. Molitieri. Is, is headed over the bar. Not his backside, the back post, the backside of the net. A corner now. Anthony Knockhart puts it in. Can we find a goal just before half time? It is headed out, but we have a chance to come again. Knockhart, can he put the ball into the box? It goes all the way across, but there is Neto to recover the ball to Will Vokes. Back to Neto. Come on, put it in the box. Find a header. Louis Barry. Louis Barry with an equaliser just before half time. His 10th goal of the season of, off, is offside. Oh, it's offside again. You absolute wazzock. Oh, come on. Right. Half time. 1 0 Southampton. We've. It's. Oh, what? Anthony Narkar is having a terrible game. He's booked. He's anxious. So Marrera is going to come on for him. Other than that, though, oh, I want to keep the faith. We've been on a great run. These are the players scoring the goals, creating the. They're creating the goals as well. Come on. Do it in the second half. That's all you need. One goal. There's a chance now. Straight in the second half. We have a throw in. It's Vasco into the box. Marrera is at the post. 
Oh, it's cleared an opportunity there. We have a corner, but I don't think it's going to come to anything. Oh, it's going to be a 1-0 loss, isn't it? No, there's a chance. Dominic Orfe, I've just brought him on for Vinicius. Dominic off now, can I put a ball into the box? Come on, come on, Dom. In the back post, the Moltieri gets the header. It's off. That was... Why is that a highlight? Why Why give me hope there? It looks like it's going to be a 1-0 loss to Southampton. There you go. A 1-0 loss. You've not seen the best of us there, to be honest. Uh, we created so much in the second half. I mean, Southampton kind of stole the game there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Maybe if Meza Ozil was playing, we'd have won that. Or at least got a point, but no. Throw the water bottle. I'm really not happy. We should have won that game. I don't care if you lack belief or you're stressed. That was absolutely awful. So following that loss, we find ourselves six points clear of third place after 13 games. But fortunately, after such a good start to the season, we are still six points clear of third place. But those were two disappointing games. So I'm going to come back in a second for the Watford game where hopefully we can get a better result. Miksimovic has recovered from his injury, so he's going to come back into partner Carrillo in the centre of defence with Vinicius and Kutris as the wing backs. Uh, Vutsov is going to remain in goal, of course, and Tommy Doyle, Tommy Doyle is going to Tommy Doyle is going to come in for Will Vokes. Um, he's slightly more athletic. I think maybe that's what we need—a more athletic, mobile person, because obviously a ball winner runs around a lot. Uh, Neto is going to remain next to him. Marrera is going to come in on the right side for Anthony Notcar, and Louis Barry is going to move to the left wing. With the injury to Pereira, um, he was out for another week or so, it turns out we don't have much cover there. So Louis Barry is going to move to the left and Michael Smith is going to return up front. The main thing though, Meza Ozil is going to start as an advanced playmaker. Um, he's got great first touch. He's got great passing. I mean, 20 technique, incredible mentors in some areas. Um, ignore the leadership, work rate, uh, aggression. Ignore everything else. Look at the yellow bits. Perfection. Vasco Souza is going to remain on the bench with Anthony Notcart. I have no doubt we're going to see them once Meza Ozil is just, is just walking around, not doing anything. Why did I buy him? Right, 35 minutes in. This is the first highlight of the game. It's been so quiet. But Louis Barry on this left side now, as the inside forward, goes all the way across to Igor Vinicius. Can you find Michael Smith in the box? Got Meza Ozil on the edge. Surely make... Mezzet do something, but Doyle into the box. There's a header. We get the goal. Martin Neto, his first goal in England for Sheffield Wednesday, giving us the 1-0 lead. That is a much, much more encouraging start. I mean, I say start. We've got 10 minutes left before this half-time. But 1-0. Five minutes until half-time, and Watford have a free kick into the box. Can we get this clear? Marrera now has the ball at his feet. Can he run with it? He is running with it. He's got Michael Smith up front. He finds him, not the quickest, but he finds a 1-2 with Diego Marrera. There are plenty of men supporting him. Marrera now going alone. He shoots. He's into the back of the net. He's actually done it. It's 2-0. Diego Marrera makes it 2-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. I thought I was going to be blazed over, but it is a second goal. Perfect. Watford have the ball, though. They go along, but Louis Barry makes the, makes the tackle, uh, but loses the ball again. That's, that's fine, but we get the ball back. Leonardo into Barry, back to Carrillo. This is much better... I mean, it's just because we're winning. It makes you feel better. But we have the ball at the back. Leonardo working it forward. Where is, where's Mezzet? He needs to do something here to, to justify his acquisition. Leonardo through to there. He is Ozil. Come on, play the ball through. What a pass. I mean, the 20 technique, the 20 vision, whatever it is. A be I'm going to say Mezzet Ozil. Perfect. Thank you very much. 3-0 though. Before half time, a much better performance. Here it is then. Half time and it is 3-0. Uh, not been quite the domination that we've been used to in other games with less than one XG and three goals, but that is, it is good. I'm happy with the number of shots. Keep it up. Meza Urz on a 7.3. Louis Barry still not performing too great, but you know what? It's all about Mezzet. Here we are, 10 minutes into the second half and we have the ball at the back. Leonardo up to Louis Barry. Can you find the 1-2? No, it goes all the way across to Vinicius on this right side. Vinicius now tries to put the ball through, but he goes back to him. But Vinicius, Michael Smith, his second goal of the game, his first start. He came to me wanting more game time. He gets his start today, gets his second goal. Louis Barry, I mean, you're not starting next game, that's for sure. But 4-0, this, this has been bloody brilliant, this has been. Just over 20 minutes ago, Watford with the goal kick going long. We get the header, and surely we're going to build it from the back. Can we get five? Vinicius on this right side. Where is Mezzet? Where is Michael Smith wanting his hat-trick? Miksimovic at the back. He's come in. We've been absolutely superb with that with that solidity. But a great ball forward to Marrera. Can he find Michael Smith in the middle of the in the box? Marrera cuts inside. He's tackled by Watford, and they are going to clear the ball up the field. But there he is, Miksimovic, the Serbian steal. 
the Sheffield, he's become the Sheffield Steel, having been here for a year. That's that's a terrible pass. But we get the ball back. Moreira, Michael Smith, the easiest goal he's ever going to score for his hat trick. It's five nil. You see, that's why that's why the Southampton and Sheffield United results are so frustrating. We're winning five nil against Watford. It's been it's been bloody excellent. And when it, there's another chance. Louis Doyle with the free kick into the box. Can we get six? It's headed clear. Moreira is going to get there first. And can he play it out by? That's a poor ball. Watford are going to come forward here. Tom Cleverley. He's booked. Get him sent off. João Pedro. Can we get the ball in front of him? No, we can't. Four now. Four now for Watford. Into the box. João Pedro. He's blazed it over. You shouldn't be playing at Championship. Come on, get out of here. There are just over five minutes left in this game. And it looks like it is going to be a fantastic victory for us here. Leonardo. Through ball. Michael Smith. Can he make it four? He almost gets his fourth goal of the game. It's been a superb performance from us here. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the domination at the stats. There it is then. Full time and it is 5-0. It's so inconsistent. How can we lose those two games so convincingly and we win this one? Bloody brilliantly. It's because of Mezzet. Mezzet and Michael Smith. That is the combination. Absolutely fantastic. Nice work, everyone. That was more than good. That was excellent. So that victory keeps us six points clear of Southampton in third. Still behind Sheffield United to have a game in hand. And they are unbeaten still. Uh, it's not ideal, but as long as we're in the playoff picture come the end of the season, it'll be a very successful year. So, I'll see you next time.